All right, everybody. Today is how to wire a unit heater thermostat. We do get this question calling in a lot, and I figured I might as well just answer it. Uh, unit heaters typically meaning Resner units, Modine units. There's other ones out there. You typically see them in garages, sometimes warehouses, uh, power vented, separated combustion, so on and so forth. The three main things are how to wire it, how the fan works, if you want the fan to work, and common power. So we're going to kind of go through that here in the next couple of steps. And so the typical thermostat that we sell with a lot of these units is going to be the White Rogers, which is also an Emerson product. And that's going to be economy mechanical low voltage unit. That is heat only. It is on. It is off. When it completes the connection, that's when it's on. When it turns off, it unconnects the connection. That's really how a mechanical thermostat works. Uh, what you're going to be running through this is you're going to be running your R and your W, or sometimes also RH and W1. All you're doing on that, and you'll see on the right-hand side, I kind of have like a terminal strip. You're going to see an R and a W also listed on your Resner, Modine, the unit heater products that we sell, even standard household furnaces are going to have that same setup. Now, the question I always get, I don't have air conditioning in my garage, but it gets hot in there and I want the fan to run. Well, with that, you're going to be connecting your R terminal. So if you see the secondary thermostat that we have down below over here, that secondary thermostat, that one is the uh, White Rogers 1F70-15170 series until they change it to something else. But that's a single stage programmable horizontal labeled unit. Uh, long and short of it is, it does allow you to do that three connection points. So it'll have a G, it'll have a W, and an R. The R, um, is, the R and the W, or R, H, and W1, that is for completing your circuit for heat. The G is what's what you're going to use for the fan. And that White Rogers uh, programmable thermostat will have a fan switch on it, so you can flip that on on a hot day in your garage, and it'll provide some airflow throughout the building. Um, going forward, nest wiring. Nest wiring, the reason why I have this up here is because the nest is one of the most simple things to wire to these unit heaters. A lot of times they don't require common wire. If they do, Nest website will actually help and walk you through a lot of that stuff. But typically, if you have the old thermostat, and what I have listed on here is the old original thermostat because uh, some of the newer thermostats, um, such as the one that we do have third generation, will have a whole bunch of more uh, connecting points. It'll say W2, it'll say C, it'll say R, RH, and a bunch of other stuff. I want it to be as simple as possible for you right now. Once again, the same thing as those other thermostats, you're connecting a RH, a W1, and if you want the fan to work, that's going to be a G. Now, if you don't have that G terminal, uh, terminal connected for either of those sets of thermostats, the fan will kick on any time that the furnace kicks on. But if you want to run the fan independently, you do have to wire that. So if you ever have questions on wiring a Nest, Nest website and Nest.com is absolutely phenomenal. You can go there at any point in time, type in the type of thermostat or whatever connecting wires that you have on the back of your current thermostat, so if you pull out the back of your current thermostat, always be careful. But when you pull out the back of your thermostat, notice what wires are marked and what terminals they go to. Normally you can take a piece of uh, uh, scotch tape or something and tape it to there marking what wires what. But then you can go to the Nest website and they'll actually tell you, all right, this will work. And this is the combination that you have to have it connected to. Going forward, no 24 volt common wire. So one of the big things with the Ecobee, and I love the Ecobee for the fact that it is Alexa enabled. And if you are using a garage and you're doing some woodwork or something that's quiet, and maybe you're just staining something, the Ecobee, you can actually ask it to play music for you. Outside of that, it has the ability to use temperature thermostatic sensors, so you can have one by the door, and then you can have the other one by the garage door on the opposite side, so you can get a, a combination of the temperature setting. 
Long story short, you do need a common wire or a 24 volt transformer in this case. So with that being said, you will need a transformer with the Ecobee. Um, the Ecobee does typically come with a uh, connection on the unit itself, but it's going to be kind of the same concept as running uh, the boiler in a way. Um, so I know we did another one on the boiler, but you're still going to be connecting the RH and the W1. So the RH in this case would typically be like the RC. And then you're going to have the C, which is the common. And I know I have the wiring diagram there on your right. That's probably going to be your best help. On top of it, you can still use the G. The G, once again, is going to be used for your fan. So if you do have any further questions, feel free to click, ask questions, call us, do whatever you got, but we're here to help you out. If you need anything, let us know. Take care.